Enderaalipeli jatkuu. Siinä se on. Jos katsotte tätä YouTubessa, niin muistakaa peukuttaa ja ehkä liittyä kanavan seuraajaksi. Muuten YouTube-algoritmi unohtaa näiden videoiden olemassaolon. Eikä näytä niitä kenellekään mullekaan. What? Good. Look who's here. On their way back. Talk to Kamai if you're ready to start. He's just waiting for your signal. Yes, they won't be steering anything, to be precise. Because Gertrude flies on her own as soon as the coordinates have been set. He thanks you, Tielor Aranthil. Any other Grand Master would have laughed at him, but you have listened instead. Now he will be the first of his people to meet the ancient fathers. It... it is hard to believe that. Walk blessed, and all the best for your fight. Thank you. The others are expecting you. Ah, and there's one more thing. This amulet belonged to my son. I want you to have it. Wear it or not, the choice is yours. Now leave. And do not disappoint me. Jaha, pomo lähtee pois paikalta. Tossa. Oh, all right, all right. Tää on ihan hyvä. Kaljaa on täällä. Saira, it's good to see you. Welcome aboard. How are things going? Are you ready? Well then. All aboard! Then raise the ramp! She's taking off! And there we go. Good. Very good. Look who's here. How are you? <laughs> yes, excited. I guess I feel the same. <sighs> well, did you want something in particular, or are you just looking for some company? <laughs> You're right. But on the other hand, do you have to be a mummy in order to dedicate yourself to archaeology? Mm, the pointy. starlings. I have been fascinated by them since I was a child. You must know, their technology is so powerful that if they wanted to, they could probably conquer the entire civilized world with it. But they don't. And why? Because they all share the same dream instead. Exactly. A place without war or hunger, where all are born equal and enjoy the same rights regardless of their standing in society. 
and for some reason, this thought has fascinated me as much as the starlings themselves do. No, toivottavasti se ei peity, peity siihen. But if there is such a place, if it really is like the old legends, we'd be able to learn so much from the ancient fathers. And, well, there it is, the answer to your question. I suppose that this naive hope is the reason for my interest in the Star People's culture. Well, that is a good question. I guess we'll have to wait until we find one. Anyway, let us continue our conversation at a later time, shall we? I want to enjoy the night sky. Who knows how many more chances we will have. Yes, what do you want? <laughs> yes, yes, he had his doubts too. Yet do not admire him, but rather those who came up with the schematics for this ship. Every single piece of Gertrude is based on the research of hundreds, maybe thousands of brave starling researchers. Well, peace, hopefully. Forgive him, but he has no better answer. Vedin, vedin tosta, mutta se ei toiminut. Täällä on öljyä. Tai jotain. Missä kalia on? Huh. Espanja on tossa. No, kuvasti käski mun tulla. It's a crazy world, isn't it? We're on our way to a forgotten city in the clouds, and I'm part of it. It just sounds... surreal. But anyway, it's good that you're here. I wanted to talk to you. Do you have a second? You have a point there. I... how should I put it? I wanted to thank you. I'm not sure if you know it, but... All that's happened since I plucked you out of that thicket on the Sun Coast... It did something to me. I think I've understood something, as corny as it may sound. <sighs> it's hard to put into words. You know, I, I still believe what I told you that time we met at the Dancing Nomad. That we all act as we do because we hope it makes us happy. But somehow, in no small part thanks to my father, I've always considered responsibility and being happy to be contradictory. But actually, that's wrong. It's the exact opposite. In order to be truly content, we need connection. To a person, to a cause, to anything. If you never find that, you'll never find yourself. Yeah, yeah, I said that. And I still think it's true to an extent. You're on your own if you want to be. I'm responsible for what happened to Adila and to Lysia, because I never wanted to be responsible. Sounds strange, doesn't it? But I can't change what happened. 
I'll just have to live with that. Maybe, maybe not. In the end, I can only speak for myself. The fact is, though, that it... I don't know, that, that it feels like I owe this world to be right here, right now. As part of something... momentous. And I like how that feels. That surprises me. No matter how all this ends, I will have no regrets. The same goes for our friendship. That's what I wanted to tell you. Despite all the trouble we got ourselves into, I'm glad that our paths crossed. For whatever reason they did. Thanks. But anyway, enough of this sentimental babble for now. You should probably rest a little. Who knows what awaits us up there. Se kaljan kanssa puhumaan, mutta se on jossain piilossa. Toisessa suunnassa. Ei se ole siinä. En mä osua. Let's just skip the small talk. I was never good at that. I wanted to see you because there's something I need to show you. Follow me. I couldn't sleep, so I used the chance to take a look around. The thought that Kermine did this all by himself... It's incredible. It would take dozens of Andrelian craftsmen at least five years to do this. So... Are you ready? Good. Mm, okay. Mielenkiintoista. Kurmai told me about this place. This sphere is what keeps us in the air, and it draws its energy from the water. Crystal water, that's what he called it. I just had to see it for myself. Mutta huomattavasti isompi tai laivan sisältä kuin ulkoa. It's beautiful, don't you think? In any case, I. He just can't believe it. No, he just can't believe it. Oh damn! No, quickly, run! Wait a second. What part of vertical didn't you understand? He thinks his instructions were clear. Stay here. Do nothing. But no. You decide to run around the ship and open whatever door crosses your path. And no. Don't look at him like that. Next time, there will be consequences. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that uh, I just I oh, by the name of the sun, I just can't believe it. Here we are on a mission to save mankind and Instead of sharpening our weapons and talking gloomily, we play hide and seek like two little kids who just stole an apple from their neighbor. That's just bizarre, isn't it? No, it hasn't. Uh, anyway, I guess we're safe down here, at least for a while. But actually, I don't mind. This place, it makes me feel... serene. 
lets you forget why we're here. Do I? In a good or bad way? That's good to hear. You know, Saira, I've been thinking about what happened in the castle and the talk we had after that. Well, do you remember when I said that I should maybe just give up and accept that I'll never be able to fully control that thing inside me? You told me that I might be right. That I should maybe just stop trying to control it, because that only made it stronger in a way. At first, that made me really angry. It just sounded heartless, even though I know you didn't mean it that way. But then I thought about it and realized there's truth to that. You know, all my life, I've tried to kill that part of me because it made me feel despicable. And every time I failed, I hated myself for it and thought that I was just too weak. But that was the wrong way to look at it from the very start. This thing, the only way to truly kill it would be to kill myself. And I can't and won't do that. Not now, when there's so much at stake, nor in the future if there is one. No, I won't let it harm anyone ever again. But I'll accept that it's a part of me. You know, Saira, what good did all the self-loathing ever do? I've been dealt a tough hand, and with that thing and these urges inside of me, I'll never be like the others. I think that's the best, maybe the only way to deal with something like this. Accept it, as despicable as it may be, because it is part of who you are. Do you understand what I mean? I'm not deluding myself. Living with this thing will be something I have to wrestle with for the rest of my life. There will always be moments of weakness when it will try to get the best of me. But I will always resist. And I will do so without condemning myself every time it happens. And in the meantime, I will live. I will do all the things that I never allowed myself to do. Build friendships, go see the world, and go dancing. Even if the latter would be a rather amusing sight. You are, if you want to be. That... that really means a lot to me, Saira. You know, I'm not sure I could've... Ugh, why am I still talking? Uh... out the paint to black ah nää puha puhastelikin jotain hey sorry i didn't wake you earlier you seemed exhausted I guess so. I heard talking coming from upstairs, and I think it could be time to go back to the others. What do you say? <sighs> Good, I suppose. But truth be told, I'm also afraid. You know, to make a mistake. All of this, it's new to me, and it happened quickly. There you were, there were these feelings, and then... Then this. The first time the other person felt the same way, yes. There was a girl once, when I was younger. A novice. Silva. No. It hurts me to say it, but she lacked the discipline for it. She's an adjutant to a priestess now, and I don't even know if she's still an enderal. Well, let's put it this way. I'd be surprised if she even knew I existed. This was before that farmer told everyone about my connection to that village. I was very introverted back then, and preferred to spend most of my time alone. So, I was just like I am nowadays. Still, these feelings I had for her, they made me afraid. They were just there, all of a sudden, and they seemed so... intense and unreasonable. 
I couldn't control them, and that drove me crazy. Hmm. Between us, it was somehow slower. More like some sort of trust, some sort of affection which grew with each passing day, especially through the talks we had. No, it isn't. I think if I had felt the same towards you as I did towards Silva, I would have done one thing. Backed off. Meditated. Killed these feelings bit by bit so that they couldn't gain control over me. The fact that it wasn't like that, it's what made all this possible. You know, Saira, you were there for me. You accepted me despite everything you knew about me. And honestly, until the very end, I thought that there had to be some catch to it. Some logical reason for your affection. I just couldn't imagine you did it because... Well, you know. Anyway, to be honest, for once in my life, I don't want to think about my feelings too much. I'm just happy. And that's it. I don't know. Hopefully one that includes the two of us being together. First, we have to put an end to the cycle. Find the Numinos, light the beacon. And then... Ugh, I can't imagine that this Quarak will just set sail and go back to Nerim once we've destroyed his vision of a higher existence for mankind. Which essentially means war. But let's be honest, Saira. We can't win. Not against Nerim. Yes. We'll see. For now, I'd say that we should focus on getting rid of the High Ones first. Do you want to go upstairs now? The others will be waiting for us. Good. I'd recommend a little clothing first, though. I don't think the others would like this look as much as I do. Yeah. Dina's shit. The clouds. That's it. Well, the city's deserted. Looks like it to me. Nonsense! Now quiet. He needs to concentrate. Now, if it isn't our missing friends. It's good to see people finding common ground, even mm -hmm. in these times. Magistra, I... <laughs> no reason to be ashamed, Keeper. There was a time when I was young, too, believe it or not. <laughs> we came across the first of these floating buildings about three hours ago. The Valley of a Thousand Clouds. That's what the Starlings called it. But as you've noticed, it's a little too... well... quiet. Oh. Huh? 
Correct. Yes. The Nexus Tower. Oh, by Malthus, it's a pity we don't have the time to explore this place more thoroughly. Just imagine how much history is hidden in each one of these stones. It's incredible. Maybe we can come back here one day, once we've stopped the cleansing. He was at first, yes. But he's grown more distant the closer we've gotten. Let's just hope for the best. No, not at all. But who knows? Maybe it's as the Starling says, and we'll be surprised. Well, first of all, let us take a look at it up close. Then we'll see. <sighs> and still, no one. That must mean something, right? He will find them. He will find them, and they hey, will hey, listen. Hey, wait! Yeah. Uh -huh. Find the righteous path. That's not good at all. Come on, we have to follow him. Let's not jump to conclusions, shall we? Somebody must have built this place, and somehow the maps which led us here have ended up in the hands of the Starlings. Ancient fathers or not, whoever was capable of creating something like this must also have known things. Let's just wait and see. Come here, Parker. Tuo vesi tulee. Now open the gates. Why don't you answer? Open the gates. By the stars. Why do you punish him with silence? He found you. He fulfilled your prophecy. So let him inside. No. No, 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 no! This isn't happening! This... This isn't happening! Kumai... Yes... Yes, he is here. He is sorry, Magistra. It was a mistake to come here. This place is dead, and the ancient fathers died with it. Very poetic, pal, but now you're overdoing it. Who says they're dead? Maybe your ancient fathers just... Mm, left. For someplace else. Yes. I'm sure they did. Look, I am sorry this place isn't what you had hoped it would be. I really am. But Dalveric is right. You shouldn't jump to conclusions. And despair won't help you either. We should inspect this place before deciding anything. Don't you agree? The only question is, how to get inside? We could try breaking this gate open. Splendid idea, boy. Do you have a battering ram with you? Myrid sized preferably? <sighs> this place must have a side entrance. Kermai? Yes, probably. Then let's go look for it. We split up. Dalveric. I suggest you accompany Kermai and take a closer look at the area around the docks. Legion and I will examine the eastern part of the city. And you? You and Sister Sakarish scout the west. If anyone finds anything, call the rest of the group before doing anything else. Now off you go. <sighs> Poor man. All his life he has worked for this, and now it turns out he'd been chasing ghosts all along. Let's just hope the architects of this place didn't take their knowledge with them to the grave, or wherever they are now. This is going to be interesting, that's for sure. And I can't complain about the company. <laughs> Come on, you go ahead. I'll be right behind you. No, down dark fantasy, Annie. Come here, Pidano. Red Moon Road.
vaikka matka alas. Saira, over here. That looks like a side entrance to me. Maybe it leads to the main tower too. Come, let us go get the others. Good. That looks exactly like what we needed. Anything we should know about the interior, Kermai? Traps? No. Hmm. Well then. <laughs> Leo and Delveric, you stay and guard the ship. If we haven't returned, or if you haven't heard from us within 12 hours, you're to take the ship back to Ark. Understood? Uh, understood. Then let's be off. Let's see. Hmm. This is Starling's script, but it's different. Blazes. Can you take a look at that, Kermai? <sighs> of course. Uh, uh, he sees. That's very... Uh, all right, yes. These are directions. To the left is the Shorai, which roughly means workshop. The right corridor leads to the living quarters. He thinks the shore eye will lead us to the top of the main tower. Good. Then left we go. Well, what can I always get? Okay, it's a bad. Hmm. I suppose this is where the council held their meetings, isn't it, Kermai? Wait. Where is he? Huh? He. What in blazes? He was here a second ago. Ah, wonderful. We need to find him. Let's split up. We'll meet up again here. Any luck? Mm -mm. You're right, but why did he run off in the first place? That's just careless. I couldn't agree more, but at least now we have a trail. Let's see if the lever still works. There you go. Then let's see where that leads. He must have gone somewhere. Hmm. That's what I call well hidden. Hirash, this is beautiful. What is this place, Magistra? Can you read the glyphs? I'll try. Yes, that? Hmm. Tower of Memories. That should be it. Good question. They look like energy sources, don't they? The same as the Pyreans used. And that power, it's immense. Huh. Let me read some more. Blazes, this is tricky, but by Malthus. Yes! Hmm? We got lucky. The prophetess was right! This is an archive! The archive, to be precise. The gathered memories of the ancient starlings. But there's nothing here. We will see about that. Come. So? I get them in a super sangari answer. Oh, 
was unexpected. What now? One moment. Ah, here. Wait, what's happening here, Magistra? The Starling prophecies were right. The ancient fathers have lived in this place for eras, maybe eons. And throughout the years, they have documented the rise and fall of every civilization. And we're just about to see their memories of the Pyrians. Correct. And yet, they never helped any of the civilizations that were extinguished by it. But why? This is murder! If they know how to defend themselves against the High Ones, why didn't they share that knowledge? <sighs> Who knows? Maybe their hands were tied somehow. Or that. But that's just speculation. What we do know is that neither the Red Madness, the High Ones, nor the Cleansing could harm them, and that their knowledge might be the key to completing the Beacon. <laughs> Look at that! Welcome to the memories of the ancient fathers. Let's see what we can learn. If the Grand Master was right about this, the Pyrian history should perfectly reflect the different phases of the cycle, including the cleansing. Yes. Hmm. That's the first step of the cycle. Out of nothing, life forms itself. And from that life, man evolves and starts populating the Earth. The second step of the cycle, just as the Grandmaster said. A first civilization arises blossoms and falls. For us, it was Asadaron's reign of the Eterna, which collapsed after Starfall. Who knows what it was in the age of the Pyrians? That's... let me see... hmm, yes, this is the creation of a theocracy. After the first civilization falls, a second one arises, that is reigned over by a few who proclaim themselves gods. Do you see the hats? These were the Sun Priests of the Pyrian Realm, the equivalent of our Lightborn. Ah. Oh. That's step number four, the downfall of the rulers. For us, it was the Shadow God and Narazul Aranthiel who killed the Lightborn. In the Pyrian Age, it was this general, Jakal. He was a member of one of the reigning castes himself, but one day turned against them. The Archmagister told me all about it. He was the Pyrian Shadow God and the Pyrian Tauranar Quarak all in one, so to speak. The chaos, the war, the red madness. This is the fifth step where we are right now. Do you see this shape in the background? This must be the High Ones who are behind all of it. The cycle nears its end. The sixth step, the cycle concludes, the cleansing happens, and mankind vanishes, just like that. <sighs> Do you see this temple in the background? This must be the temple in the city of a thousand floods, the heart of the Pyrian realm. <sighs> and after the sixth step, it all starts over. So this is the final proof. Everything that has happened to the Pyrians, and probably to those before them, too, 
is now happening to us? That's the question, but by the gods. Malthus bless mankind. It ascends to the sky, to the high ones. <sighs> mankind doesn't vanish at the end of a cycle. It becomes a high one. That is how they reproduce, how they feed, or whatever you wish to call it. Don't you see? These shapes that ascend skywards. Their thoughts, our consciousness, our souls, and all of them together form a new High One. So you are saying that what a High One really is, is the consciousness of an entire civilization? Yes, it's our memories, our thoughts, our dark knowledge, our collective consciousness. This, this is monstrous. Yes, yes, by the righteous path, that's it. Korak is right. In a way, humanity does reach a new level of existence because it becomes one of those beasts. Oh, yes, we do. The word of the dead. You said the aged man left it for you, didn't you? Then this is the way. The Numinos. I know what it is. Or rather, what we need to fill it with. The essence of a high one. It's hard to explain. The problem with the high ones is that they don't have a physical shape, and this makes it hard to fight them. They are everywhere and nowhere, just like the air. This is why we need the beacon to fight it. It has the power to banish them. It's an assumption, but a well-grounded one. What the beacon does is channel massive amounts of energy and unleash it on its core. Isn't it logical, then, that we need something of what we want to banish? Like an energy signature inside it. It might sound far-fetched to you, but it feels right. Well, this is where it gets complicated, but I think I also have an answer to that. The word of the dead. We need to use it on a high one, to enter its mind. If there is any place we can find a high one's essence, it is there. But even if that would work, where are we supposed to find a high one? You said it yourself, Magistrate. They don't have a physical form, and even if they had, they surely wouldn't reveal themselves to us. Old man That is correct. But I know where to find one. Where the last cleansing took place. That is where we need to go. And once we are there, you need to listen to the Echo. Of course. But since the you High Ones are immaterial and will correct, the Echo grants you the ability to feel and relive the memories of this world. Yes. This means that we have to find the Holy City of the Pyreans, where the last cleansing took place, the City of Floods. Well... I hope this place can help us find the answer. If the ancient starlings witnessed the entire cycle of the Pyreans, then they surely knew a lot about the geography of the world as it was back then as well. We need to keep searching. Come, let us go back to the tower. Entities who reproduce by devouring the consciousness of an entire civilization? That's just bizarre. Is it? Don't we ourselves breed pigs so that we may eat them once they are fat enough? In a way, the High Ones are just like us, except that it's our thoughts that they are after rather than our bodies. It bears a certain kind of logic. You cannot deny that. Hmm. Knowing that, Korak's story about mankind ascending to another level isn't as far-fetched as it first sounded. We don't cease to exist. We coalesce into something else. Into a High One. Yes, but is this new High One really us? Or does it just need us to come forth? Yes, we know now that this is how they reproduce. But we still know far too little. How did they come into being? How long has this been going on? So many questions. True, but if I may say so, Magistra, we should save the philosophical questions for after we have stopped the cleansing. Of course.
Well then, let's see what Kermide. They are here. They have been here all along. Kermai, where by the righteous path were you? He was a fool to bring you here. You soil-born are too dangerous. You've always been. But he was too blinded. Blinded by his dream to finally finish her and sail home. I don't like this, Magistra. What are you talking about, Kermai? The fact that the ancient starlings left this city doesn't have anything to do with us. Stop you talking! Darn it, you are so ignorant! They are here, but they won't reveal themselves to us because they don't accept your presence! Because you are unworthy of them! He rationalizes? What do you take him for? A fool? Yeah. If you would just listen for once in your life, you'd hear them. They're everywhere. He will prove his worth to them. He will show that he deserves to live among them. The soil-born have to die, and then the fathers will reveal themselves. But how? Kermai, stop it! Right now! The defense system, of course! They will understand. Hmm? <laughs> to arms. Doesn't look good. I... I don't know. This flying steel creature must have noticed them. Yes. Yes, that would be the most reasonable thing to do. But as long as that alarm is active, this place is a death trap. In other words, we need to find a way to switch it off. Yeah, I think so. Well... That's what we need to find out. But do you remember that Surai that Kurmai told us about when we first entered the tower? He said it meant something like workshop. I suppose that's our best chance. Come on, let's get back inside. Hmm. <laughs> Ei mene todellakaan hyvin. Ja tytöt. Lisää robottiruutua siellä. Vaan meidän osuus on varmaan tähän värikaiteeseen osu. Arvokkaita nuolia. Ei 
Se näyttää välipumolta. Sillä palautuu terveys huomattavasti nopeammin kuin mulla. Kaalilaatikko. Kaali, kaali, kaali perunakeittoa. Se on parhaita, parhaita ruokia tässä pelissä. Kaapista selkeästi. Niin nääkin kaverit. Ja mä oon niin Veto, että nyt tulee seuraavaksi. Good. Now let's see what we can do to deactivate this alarm. So, did it work? Damn it. But run. Over here, now! 
Gimana nah, ada sini wah? Kirash, that was close. True. Well, that's what I thought too. And this flying thing started tearing apart our ship. Thank like chance I was on land when it happened. the only ones left the only ones so the starling and the magistrate didn't make it either um, about it and um... oh that's tragic i'm ashamed to ask but what about the numinos did you find anything out about it a map hmm if i believed in such things i'd call this a twist of fate i think i know where we can find one and up there could also be our passage back up where? Follow me. I'll show you. How did you make it here, my Sir Dalvaric? And what is this? Some kind of tunnel system? Please, just a spar. I think we've been through enough together by now for that. And concerning your question, there was another entrance into the tower that led me right into these tunnels. There must have been shortcuts for the ones whose job it was to keep this place running. At least that's my guess. But it appears that you can reach almost any place in this Nexus Tower through the tunnels. And that's just what we need. Wait. I don't like this. Damn it, that just had to happen, didn't it? To the other building, quickly. I don't know how to Here we are. Care to fill us in on your plan now, Jaspar? First, we need to find our map. And then... Well, then we each take a seat in one of these capsules and let ourselves drop. We let ourselves drop? They're escape pods. Kamai had some of the ones on the airship, and I just hope they work as intended. Unless you have a better plan, of course. No. Good, then get going. Let's find that map. Se on nappia. Kiitos on nyt kohde.
tuli tähän splatsista. Kirash, you're well. I thought you... Ugh. Come, we should go look for the mercenary, for Jespar. I saw his pod go down not far from here. Look, over there. Oh no. Oh, he's alive. Looks like a minor laceration to me, maybe a broken rib or two. I guess the force of the impact threw him against this rock. Still, we need to get him to an apothecarius. Do you have the map? I think teleport magic should work again down here. Good. Then at least all this wasn't for nothing. Let's go. So the High Ones devour our consciousnesses. <laughs> now that's what I call ironic. Maybe Kuarik and his free people do become part of these higher beings they so adore after all. We should tell them. Maybe they'll be so delighted that they will abandon the siege and sail right back to Nerim. Spare us your jests. Archmagister, how long will you need to decipher the map? <laughs> Archmagister? I... I don't know. A couple of days, at least. I should start right away. I, excuse me. No. What is wrong with him? Jaela was his mentor during his novitiate. I think he didn't get over it. He has to. Well, prophetess. Despite the complications, the mission was a complete Tokyo success. Kuala. A complete success? What in blazes has happened to you, Tila? Nothing. And now is not the time for quarreling. Yela is dead, Tila. Just like Jorik. Jorik for the name of the gods. And none of this would have happened if we had just given Quarik this idiotic machine. Please, Tilo, if my opinion means anything to you, let go of this madness. I don't care about your opinion. Jorik was a traitor, and Yela gave her life for something greater than herself. But the latter in particular seems to be something you cannot relate to. Now, silence. I've had enough of your attempts to hinder our mission. <sighs> Back to the topic at hand. Sharim, what do you make of Jaela's plan to use the word of the dead to enter a high one's mind? I always thought it only enabled its user to relive the last memories of the deceased. Well, if the high ones are made of a collective subconsciousness, they are different in that regard. They consist only of memories, and a lot of them. That is, of course, if the Magistra's theory about them is true. Forgive my interruption, but having seen the Starling's murals, I would say it is. Mankind ascends to become a High One. This is what the cleansing really is. Then it might work. Used on a High One, the word of the dead could allow us to enter its spirit. We will take the risk. The walls still hold against Korak's armies, but we need to hurry. As soon as the Arcanists have figured out the map, we will set out to find this city of a thousand floods. If you have any unfinished business to attend to, you should do it now. Okay. Many things will be decided by what's to come. I feel it. Ah, the Carrier said that the mercenary will live. He's in the Carrarium, in case you want to pay a visit. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. Poor Marayu. I have never seen him like that. Saira, I... I almost feel ashamed to bring this up now, but... I would like to spend some more time with you before we start this last mission. For some reason, I have a bad feeling about all this. Just meet me in the Upper City when you find the time. And be careful whatever you do. We've lost too much already. <laughs> 